This slide doesn't represent another sector of Judaism, but rather a movement that began in the 1800s. Zionism, or more accurately political Zionism, was spearheaded by Theodore Herzl in response to the growing anti-Semitism in parts of Europe and Russia. Some of the arguments were that it is not good for any people, especially the Jews, not to have a geographic homeland, a secure area. Also, it is not psychologically sound to be a minority in every country where one happens to reside. There is also the idealistic notion of what, I, what Israel means, an ideal for messianic hopes and rapture ideals, especially for many evangelical Christians. There's a funny line about Jews. Two Jews in a room, three opinions. Yes, funny, but part of the Jewish story is one of argument and many viewpoints. Zionism was no different. With the growth of Zionism in the 1800s, only certain sectors were in favor. Reformed Jews were generally acculturating to whatever country they happened to reside. Conservative Jews were for or against Zionism. Many Orthodox Jews were in favor, but then again, many ultra-Orthodox and Hasidic Jews were against Zionism because of the political machinations in play. But an unprecedented event happened in the early 20th century before and during World War II. This event will cause many more Jews in various sectors to support political Zionism.